If you've seen much pickup material, you'll have been told you need to be an alpha male, you need to be dominant, you need to be a leader, you are manimal. Grrr. Now, although I think there's some value in this, I feel it paints a pretty one-dimensional picture of a man. Some brain-dead, muscle-bound caveman who slaughters wild animals and drags his woman back to the cave by her hair. Is that what an alpha male is? I remember back in my mid-twenties when I started trying to be an alpha male. I'd be with my friends in some bar in town. We'd be getting towards the end of our drinks and I would stand up and declare, Right, we are going to bar XYZ next. And they would all laugh and say, well, you can go there if you want, but we're going to bar ABC next. And I was forced to relent and follow them along to bar ABC with my tail between my legs. But is this what women want? Some guy who essentially orders a group of people around? As I've said numerous times before, pretty much all women want a man who makes them feel safe and protected, but how they get that feeling of safety and protection differs from woman to woman. Some women really do crave the brain-dead caveman type, to the point where if he's getting into fights all the time, that only makes him more appealing because he dominates over other men. If he can protect himself from other men, he can also protect her. But most women prefer a more subtle kind of leader. The kind of man who is in charge of his own life, who has direction, who doesn't bend easily to the will of a world, but isn't necessarily the obvious leader in his group. It's my belief that most men these days, certainly in the West, are way too wussy. They aren't willing to say no enough. They're always pacifying others and staying quiet in order to keep the peace. For example, let's say you and your friends are in a WhatsApp group chat discussing which restaurant to go to on Friday night. Someone suggests a certain place which you can't stand. Do you say, I hate it there, I'd really rather we went somewhere else? Or do you stay quiet and hope somebody else says it? Are you willing to suggest a different restaurant and risk everybody criticising your suggestion? Essentially, it's a fear of sticking your neck out. And you see this when men are arranging dates. She says, where are we going on Saturday night? And he says, I don't mind. Anywhere you want is fine with me. Translation, I'm such a wuss, I'm scared you will hate my suggestion and cease to like me. Therefore, I would rather you put your neck on the block instead of me. This continues when they meet. They greet each other at the bar, and instead of saying, oh, let's go and sit on those comfy sofas over there, he waits for her to lead the way. After all, what if he were to select the wrong place to sit and she hated him as a result? Women notice these tiny acts of wussiness, and on a deep subconscious level, they are thinking, if he's too scared to even suggest where to sit for fear of upsetting little old me, how is he going to stand up to the world and keep me safe and protected? No wonder he receives the you're a nice guy but I didn't feel a chemistry text message after the date. It's time to stop playing it safe and instead start being the man you were born to be. Join me on my free online masterclass, How to Meet Your Dream Girl, without pickup or six pack abs at thepowerfulman.org forward slash free training, where we'll take the first steps in making this happen.